Hello and welcome. I'm Trip. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I went and bought a new waste coal to replace the waste coal I ran into a wall. Well, maybe not to replace it. It's more or less a backup call if I can't get that thing running and drivable soon enough. I have a few track days here soon and I need a call and that thing doesn't make it. This is the backup. I bought it sight unseen. It was probably the cheapest one on Marketplace that ran, you know, within a few hundred miles from me. And you can tell why it was the cheapest. She needs some love, a lot of love, and maintenance, and miracles. But, ladies and gentlemen, my new on the fit. This is my 2007 Honda Fit. Like I said, it was fairly cheap. Well, for 2002 pricing. Everything is super expensive right now. Especially uh, gas stables like this. It will also be acting as a daily gas stable. Since all my other cars suck on gas. So it's another big reason I got it. I was, I was actually looking at these anyway before the accident so it's giving me more reason to buy one. You might be thinking to yourself Trip, you can't race that thing. Way too slow to be a race car or track car. But you should look into, if you haven't yet, look into uh, Good Life Sunny Cup it's a special class where they essentially drive little small shit boxes like this. The car has to be 25 to 1 power to weight ratio. So low horsepower, small cars like these, NA any Mini Coupos, Kia Rios, I think Mazda 2s, uh, like other small cars like that, Fiestas fit in this class so it's all meant for low horsepower small cars and you might not think that it's fun but it's a lot of fun I've watched quite a bit of it and even done some ride along in one and those guys look like they're having a blast the whole time because they're essentially given that those little cars everything they got like 100% throttle full commitment through the corners and you can pretty much give this car 100% well the high horsepower fast cars you can't you can't go 100% most people anyway a lot of the time with this thing you can just send it as fast as you want as fast as you can and it just keeps on ticking and if you haven't yet just look up Good Life Sunday Cup or Spec Fit and cars like this will pop up but let's check this beauty out and condition kind of tells you why it was one of the cheapest or the cheapest one on Marketplace in my area. And another big reason is the clutch. The clutch is slipping really bad so it definitely needs a clutch replacement. Another big reason, windshield is shadowed, it has mismatch wheels it has I think three fifteens and the backs are 14 this one's starting to show threads 
uh, every body panels messed up, scratched, dented, about to fall off. And the back portion's not too bad, really, I guess. Mostly the front area is kind of dinged up, other than scratches and stuff. And she's nasty inside. Looked like an animal was living in here. I mean, he said he cleaned it, but can't really tell. But it is a manual, which was harder to find the manuals at decent prices. It's not too hard to find the automatics. It just kind of damn near fall apart. There was a tampon, and these all these trees were hanging up there. They were like hitting me in the head while I drove, so I ripped them off. Like I said, this thing needs a serious bath. Like, when I was negotiating with the guy to try to get the price down, uh, I, I said obviously the car was pretty rough inside and out. He said that the inside's not that bad, it's pretty nice. In his pictures on Marketplace, you couldn't see the floor with how much trash and dirt was on the floor. But it's not that bad. Back's pretty dirty, but it's nothing I can't fix. I think a lot of cleaning won't help. Pretty sure there's a wild animal living back here. Don't kind of scared to even see what's under though. Baby bottle? Apparently used to have subs or something. Let's see what else? It has straight pipe. Pretty much straight pipe going to a resonator in the back. No cat. Which honestly then it wasn't as loud or sound as bad as I was ex originally expecting. It's livable, I guess. Definitely need new wheels and tires. I didn't notice this until today, but the hinge on the door is broken. Is that how you run your amp wire? You know, having power bitten, being smashed by the door. That's that's got to be safe, right? But she does run. Has a few lights on. Checking the light. A little winch light. Haven't really hooked up the scan or anything up to it. It has, I think, 100, almost 180,000 miles on it. 179, so almost 180,000 miles. Uh, shitty radio. But other than that, it's okay in here, I guess. Other than being nasty. And shattered windows definitely has to be fixed. Need a new. Okay, maybe I lied a little bit about not sounding that bad. Could be worse. It comes with a little, little intake. A little short ram. It has... Lowing, looks like to be lowing springs, probably some eBay brand lowing springs. Uh, like I said, has a wang, has a Honda stick on it. I highly doubt it has Honda on it. Haven't really looked into it. Bumpo's belly hanging on. Look at his duct tape on, zip tied. Definitely need a new one of those. It's seen better days. Also had a pretty eventful day trying to get it home. I bought it Monday, which was a few days ago. And the call was two and a half hours away and outside of Fort Payne, Alabama. I'm in Nashville, so two and a half hours. I think 160 miles, I think there one way so 
We went, we took the wife's GTI, drove to Fort Payne-ish, or well, was like outside of it, picked it up, you know, it was, the car was definitely a lot worse than what he was saying, and, and I knew it was bad. I was expecting it to be rough and kind of beat up and needing work, you know, so I tried to use those things as an advantage to lower the price down a little bit, which I did. I think it was originally 3033 and I knocked it down to 2200 which is still a lot for this, you know. All the used call market is just kind of dumb, it's up there. So I was able to kind of drew him down to 2200 and he told me the clutch was slipping, said it wasn't that bad, he could still drive it. So I decided to try to drive it home. Luckily it's almost all interstate the whole way. And got on the interstate and I pretty much had to slowly work that gas pedal, just barely getting on it. Cause if I get on it a lot, it's, it's, it's gonna slip, slip really bad. I, I couldn't go over 3,500 3, RPMs without it slipping. So I had to like be really gentle with it just slowly creep my way up. I averaged about 60 miles per hour on the highway. Every once in a while I'll get up to 70. A few times I got up to 80 on a, a long, big hill. That was only a few times. Got passed by everything, even a smart car. Got passed by a smart car, it's pretty embarrassing. But I drove it about 90 miles with a slipping clutch until I got to outside of Chattanooga, between Chattanooga and Nashville area, there's a little mountain that 24 goes over called Mount Eagle. And I couldn't make it over the mountain. I think Twix is wondering what this piece of shit is. I'm not sure what the elevation or anything is. It's not a huge spot, huge mountain by any means, but it's big for this area. And uh, yeah, the car couldn't make it up it. I got to the point where I just slowly started to slow down and slipping and slipping and slipping and slipping. Just the clutch was hating life. Got to the point where I'm going about five or 10 miles per hour up the hill in the shoulder. I went as far as I could in the shoulder with my flashes on until I got towards the top where there's no more median. It's just drop off and death and big huge semis blowing by. There was no way I was getting around safely. So we decided to leave it there, call it quits, and we drove the GTI back home an hour. We were still an hour away. Got the van, got the trailer, drove an hour back, picked it up on the side of the mountain, barely made it on the trailer, because the clutch slipped so bad, I pretty much had to get a head start back up, get a head start just to get up to the trailer. Luckily, I didn't fall off the side. But we, we got it, made it home, got home about midnight. No, it's later than midnight, about one o'clock in the morning we got home. So it was a long day, eventful. But I knew what I was getting into. But plans, like I said, back up, waste coal, good life, Sunday cup, maybe. Maybe an autocross or something like that. Until the other call is fixed. And which I'm working on, I'm getting slowly getting parts in. I got a possible date with a body shop. So hopefully I can fix that before NCM. If not, this is going to NCM. Which means I got a lot of things to fix. First priority, transmission. Oh, clutch. Full transmission, replace the clutch. Place the windshield and just clean it, clean the hell out of it. I'm gonna strip this thing apart in the inside, vacuum cleaning, wash it, get it a lot better than it is. It's gonna still look rough, but it's gonna get it looking a lot nicer. Then work on wheels and tiles, definitely need those, and a front bubble. Those are my main concerns right now. Also, refresh. To change all the fluids, oil, transmission fluid, brake fluid, you know, check the pads, I have no idea what they look like, you know, just get her healthy again. She needs some love, 
She's had a rough life. But I think I can make her happy. We have a better life. Marshall will daily hold. So even though it has a slipping clutch, do you think we should drive it? Just for the hell of it? Show you how awesome it is. We're all gonna go for a drive, but she's gonna drive since she hasn't driven this car yet, especially with the slipping clutch. I'm gonna kind of see how what she thinks about it. See how hard it is. It's probably really hard. Slowly, slowly, slowly. I have a lead foot, so. Let it catch. You oh God. You just have to barely push it. You let it kind of do its thing. Yeah, we're in first. Now I gotta stop again. Do yeah. it again. Oh no. I probably, probably don't want to go uphill. I want to go downhill. Alright, everyone's gonna think I can't drive any something. Come on, come on. Alright, cars, car, come on. Come on, you shit. <laughs> come on, you piece of shit. There we go. Alright, you can get in second, get in second. Alright, get in second. Gotta oh, ease on God. it. Use that momentum. Use that momentum. I think I'll just uh, be in second the whole time. Oh, I'm sorry. You done pissed it off. You have too much gas. Too much power. We're going to go into third then. <laughs> That's terrible. I can't even go. Let's, let's, not, let's not die. Let's see if I can. Come on, drive faster, other car. Come on, drive faster. Go faster. There we go. Yeah, we made it to the truck. Woohoo! So now it's two donuts. <laughs> no. on. There she goes. There oh. she goes. Oh, no, he's coming. Make up the hill. We got this. Come on, you piece of shit. Come on, let's go. Come on. All right. What'd you think of my beautiful race car? It's a turd sandwich. A turd. <laughs> it just it it's gonna go the speed that it wants to go, but you know it just wants to go to beat its own drum, it's a shitty drum. But I think it has some potential. You can you can polish a toad. You sure can. Very carefully. I know it's kind of a weird choice for a track car, race car, but I promise it's, it's going to be fun. I'm, I'll make it fun. And the first thing we're probably going to do is the clutch. It should come in the next few days, so I should be starting that here soon. I haven't forgot about the, the 86. It's still in the works, but while I'm waiting for that, I got this to play with. But thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe if you want to follow this build and my other builds, and even that build. And watch my other videos and stuff. I'm always doing something different, more. And I will catch you later. Peace out.